and welcome to our video. In a world increasingly threatened by climate change and an energy crisis, we must look for innovative and sustainable solutions. Indonesia, as one of the largest emitters of greenhouse gases in the world, has a big responsibility in finding environmentally friendly energy alternatives. Have you ever thought that waste from our favorite foods, you know, could be the key to a cleaner, more sustainable energy future? In this video, we will explore how liquid waste from the tofu industry can be converted into an environmentally friendly alternative energy source, namely biohydrogen, using Schlumberger Symmetry software. Let's start this innovative journey. Did you know that according to the World Research Institute, more than half of global greenhouse gas emissions are contributed by 10 countries? Indonesia is among them, with greenhouse gas emissions in the energy sector reaching 638,452 GHCO2E in 2019, or the equivalent of 2% of world emissions. This challenges Indonesia's commitment to keep global temperatures below 2 degrees Celsius. Apart from that, energy security is also an important concern, considering the global energy crisis situation which is getting worse due to the depletion of fossil fuels. Therefore, initiatives are needed to develop new low emission and sustainable energy sources. Several ideas have been offered to overcome this problem, and the use of renewable energy is the most promising solution. In accordance with Indonesia's vision, renewable energy is expected to reach 23% of total energy use in 2025 and 31% in 2050. One of the renewable energies that is being developed is biohydrogen. Biohydrogen is one of the most environmentally friendly renewable energies because the combustion process only produces water vapor and heat energy, so it does not cause a greenhouse effect. Tofu consumption in Indonesia in 2015 reached 7.49 kg per capita, an increase from 2012. In Aishish itself, the tofu industry is growing along with increasing demand every year. This causes the waste produced to increase, which if not handled seriously can damage the environment. Tofu liquid waste contains a lot of organic material which can be processed through anaerobic fermentation to produce biohydrogen. This process not only reduces waste but also produces environmentally friendly energy. Waste produced by the tofu industry can be divided into two types. Namely solid waste and waste solid waste is known as tofu dregs, while liquid waste contains mostly water and dissolved and suspended solid particles. Tofu liquid waste that is not managed properly can damage the aquatic environment. However, based on several studies, tofu liquid waste has high potential to be used as a renewable energy source, one of which is biohydrogen. In this segment, we will delve deeper into the methods used in this research. Each method applied consists of several crucial stages that are interrelated and contribute significantly to the final results. Let's explore the steps taken in simulating the production of biohydrogen from tofu liquid waste. This process involves key stages that we need to understand together, which are... The first step in this research method is observation. Observation was conducted by searching for relevant, valid and supportive references for the title of this scientific paper. We looked for various variables such as the content of tofu waste, the production of biohydrogen from tofu waste, biohydrogen as an energy source, and its future applications. The purpose of this observation is to gain a clear picture of the potential and challenges in the biohydrogen production process from tofu waste. The next step is data collection. The data used in this study is secondary data, collected from various relevant sources or references. This secondary data includes information about the composition of tofu liquid waste, biohydrogen production methods, and biohydrogen applications as a renewable energy source. With this data, we can establish a strong theoretical foundation for the simulations to be conducted. After collecting the data, the next step is data analysis. Data analysis is performed through several stages, namely, after data reduction, the data is then presented in the form of graphs, tables or diagrams that are easy to understand. Good data presentation helps in identifying significant patterns or trends in the data. The final step is conclusion drawing. Based on the reduced and presented data, we draw conclusions that are expected to be new findings and can be further tested to address existing problems. Now we move on to the simulation process stage. To model a simple biohydrogen plant unit, we used Symmetry software. 
Symmetry is process simulation software that can model production processes with an approach that closely resembles real conditions using mathematical and thermodynamic models. This software has been widely used in various industrial applications such as vapor liquid equilibrium, biomass gasification, bio oil upgrading, utility optimization and chemical plants. The conditions of the tofu liquid waste feed stream used in the simulation are as follows here is the flow chart of the biohydrogen production simulation process showing each stage from raw material input to final product output. Let's delve into the results of our simulation. Below are the specifications of the main products obtained from the conversion phase and kinetic reactions in our process simulation. Following this simulation process, we achieved very promising results, according to our findings. Every hour we produce 19.76 kmol of hydrogen, 0.75 kmol of CO2, and 0.1 kmol of fertilizer. In terms of mass flow rates, this equates to 39.52 kilograms of hydrogen, 33 kilograms of CO2, and 6 kilograms of fertilizer per hour. The dominance of hydrogen in the vapor phase underscores its importance as a source of biohydrogen. This means 39.52 kilograms of hydrogen per hour, sufficient to fill about 3.31 cubic meters. Daily, this production reaches 948.48 kilograms or 79.44 cubic meters. Enough to meet the energy needs of a small village. The production of biohydrogen not only provides environmentally friendly energy but also offers significant environmental and economic benefits. It reduces dependence on fossil fuels, decreases carbon emissions, and helps combat climate change. The use of biohydrogen in rural areas also enhances energy independence and promotes sustainable development. This research highlights the transformational potential of tofu liquid waste, which was previously an environmental problem. Now becoming a sustainable energy solution. Biohydrogen not only supports environmental preservation, but also fosters economic growth and community well-being. Thank you for joining us on our journey of discovery. Together, let's build a greener and more sustainable future. Biohydrogen energy for the future world from tofu waste.